In the early morning hours of September 15, 2014, Matt Odom did what most people do daily. He walked out his front door to go to work. Unfortunately, on this day, someone was lying in wait for him and took his life right in his front yard. His four children and fiance were in the house, mere feet of this senseless act. The Bakersfield police arrived to the 9400 block of Waterbury Drive that morning, where reportedly the first officer found a man suffering from a traumatic injury in the yard of the home. At that time, the true nature and seriousness of his injury was unknown until he arrived at the hospital. The young man was then declared dead at the hospital. Matt Odom was a father of four young children whom he had custody of at the time of his passing. He was granted full custody not long before this incident. It's been eight years since this tragedy happened and Matt and his family have not received justice. Unfortunately for Matt and his family, there are a lot of issues with this case due to a corrupt police officer. We'll get into detail on this later in the video. Most people loved Matt. He only had a handful of individuals who did not want him around. That's his estranged wife, her new man, and her family. Matt and his estranged wife, Summers, yes, it's Summers and not Summer, were going through a divorce because of her infidelity with Garrett Holden. The divorce became volatile at times, even going as far as Summer stabbing Matt with keys, which happened in front of their four young children during a custodial exchange. There's a video of this incident. However, I'm not posting it because Garrett and Summers like to copyright strike. Here's what was said in the video. Summers. As she's stabbing Matt with his keys. Delete it or something worse is going to happen and I know you don't want that. Matt, don't threaten me. Summers, it's not a threat, it's a promise. Not long after those words came out of her mouth, Matt was ambushed in front of his home. Now let me tell you a little something about Garrett. Garrett was late to work the day Matt was murdered. He stated, he was late because he was home taking care of a pregnant Summers who was having issues with her varicose veins. This is his alibi, Summers. Summers and her family were not happy about Matt getting full custody of the children. Summers' dad would go hang objects in the tree outside their school or stand outside the gate. It was disturbing to say the least. They did not like the fact they were not in control. Not long after Matt's passing, Summers took the kids and changed their last names. She'd go on to marry Garrett, have a baby with him, and move out of the state. The children have not had contact with any of Matt's family since she took custody. This case came to a standstill when the lead detective, Demacio Diaz, was found to be corrupt. Demacio, who had his likeness portrayed in the movie McFarland, was a detective for the Bakersfield Police Department. Him and his then-partner, Pat Mara, were found guilty of possession and attempting to sell methamphetamines, bribery, and making a false income tax return. These two were taking evidence and attempting to sell from 2012 to 2015, which I feel is a big reason the case has not been solved. Demacio, who was too busy worrying about his little side business instead of working this case. I have been following the case since his brother and sister-in-law started the Justice for Matt Odom Facebook group. From the beginning, the family of Matt has been harassed by Garrett, Summers, and her family. From being part of the group, it was obvious that it's Garrett and Summers' family doing the harassment and not someone else. They went as far as to start a Facebook page by the name of Lingle Law, which is the last name of Matt's fiance. Now here's my question. Why? Why harass the family of Matt? I feel I'll receive comments stating, well, the family put up posters of Summers and Garrett all over, which they did, but the case is at a standstill and they are just trying to get justice. Now, this is just my opinion from following this case for numerous years. I followed a few other cases that are very similar and you just do not see harassment from the other side like you do in this case. Since I've been following the story for so long, I remember one story about Matt and Garrett that just really tugged at my heartstrings. 
Matt came home from work and Garrett would not allow him in his own home. He held the door shut and Matt could not enter. This was Matt's home. Garrett was just staying there and was just a roommate. I could only imagine what was going through Matt's mind, how he must have felt. Matt and his family still have not received justice and it's been eight years. This is a long time of not knowing who hurt your family member, who made your life incomplete now that your loved one is gone. I am going to put a disclaimer. I tried my best to be neutral on this case, but I know I failed. I've been following the case for so many years and just seeing all the things Garrett has said and done, it's hard not to be biased. If you know anything that can help solve this case, please contact the Bakersfield Police Department. Matt and his family deserve justice. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. Please like and subscribe.